Here's how you can apply a vibrato effect to your guitar playing. Let's take a simple guitar lick like this. It sounds a little boring without this effect, as you can hear. I'll apply the vibrato effect, you can hear the difference. The way you play this effect is to hit the string and then in this case on the B string I'm, I'm using this motion with my wrist and trying to make an even motion so I'm bending down the string and letting go I'm bending it down again and letting go and I do that by twisting the, the, the wrist a little bit like this See. And the speed at which you do this kind of defines your vibrato style. A lot of blues players seem to prefer a shorter vibrato like this. While some shred players seem to want to have us this type of vibrato. And so on. Sometimes you can't bend down on most strings you can do this effect by going like this with your wrist. But there's one exception, the high E string. You can't do that because you run off the fretboard. So you have to do the opposite. You have to bend upwards. And uh, the same technique applies. You just go the different direction. So you kind of push up like this and then let go. So this one I'm bending down to do my vibrato. This one I'm doing the opposite. There's another way you can also use a vibrato is when you bend up the note. It sounds really good when you bend the note to do that. So you first you bend up the note from, in this case I'm going from the uh, the note G to A on the high E string, starting on the, on the 15th fret. So I bend up first and then I wait a little bit before I, I play the vibrato. And the vibrato I am doing the, in the same way as I do this vibrato on one string here, on one note here. The only difference is I have the note bent up. Now I'm doing the same motion. And I can use that on other strings as well. I'm doing this emotion with my wrist. And you can see I'm using all three fingers mostly when I bend because that the reason for that is because it's easier to bend. You get you're stronger with three fingers than with one. This is really hard. Two is better, but three is even better than that. More strength than you can easier bend without getting tired. Let's take another lick, very simple. Starting here on the B string, on the, on the 10th fret. Switch into the E string. Back to the B string. And the E string again. E string, and then back to B string. Da do da 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 da. And then you apply the vibrato at the end when you get to this note. See, I'm playing the vibrato by going down. But you, if you prefer, you can go up as well.
play with the speed. Now you can also, of course, apply the vibrato effect to not only single notes, but to chords. I do that quite a bit. For example, something like... Uh, I like to apply the same approach, just bending down with the wrist like this. This chord is an E7 sharp 9. It's a really cool sounding, bluesy, jazzy, Hendrixy chord. If you apply the same motion as I did when I showed the vibrato effect here, just pulling or twisting your wrist a little bit like this, using all fingers now, you get the same vibrato effect, but now over a chord. So it could sound like this. pretty cool. I also use that same effect if I play just two notes. See I'm doing that motion again, like this with my wrist, only over two strings now. Now I guess this nice uh, E minor sound Dorian scale so there you have it that's how you can use a vibrato effect in your plane